The fact that there was a Communist Party that was the only integrated institution in Alabama in the 30s is just fascinating to me. The party was stale until black people came in it. And, and so what we offered to the party was passion, fervor, and it reignited it. You know, and so I wanted to bring that excitement, not just like, it's 1932 Alabama. Stuff's going on out there. No, this is 1932 in Birmingham, Alabama, 1932, and the world is on fire. It's that excitement. I've always been interested in what we're not taught in school, you know? I mean, buried pieces of American history, you know, that aren't, that are not celebrated or not examined, you know, as though they didn't happen. To play with a, a lot is at stake. When, you, when you're, in, uh, you're black in Alabama, uh, you, something's at stake anyway. Then when you're black in Alabama in 1932, more is at stake. And when you're black in Alabama in 1932 and you're a communist, you know, I don't know if it can get what's left, because you're going to die. Every time you walk out of the house, somebody's wanting to kill you. I've always been interested in issues of power and you know for me you know on the stage the question always is you know who has the power and who doesn't who's trying to get it why and why does somebody else not have it and what will they do to get it you know those issues to me have always been at the core of my writing you know exchanges of power everyone in that room controls that room being the cabin that the play takes place in at some time or another Whoever you are, you're going to be in control somewhere, somehow. And it's how you manipulate that control once you get it. How do you manipulate the people in the room with it? Are you a cruel dictator? Are you a tyrant? Contradiction is inherently human. And the real wisdom of life is accepting or relishing contradiction, conflict, um, complexity, um, that things can be this and that. I think we always want to look at things in the terms of transformation, you know, in like big terms of going from A to B as opposed to all the small ways we can be challenged and stretch ourselves and find small, even transformative moments doesn't mean you have to get to B. You might go from A to B and back a bit or you might find some let letters in the alphabet between A and B that you didn't know existed. So, um, you know, I think all three characters go through certain changes, but they're challenged to, to um, stretch beyond what they, what they know about themselves. Uh, Delroy Lindo, you know, a wonderful actor, expressive and tremendous presence on the stage and very poetic in, um, uh, not only in his, his language, but in his style. I don't think I thought too much about, um, you know, what would be the physical um, attributes of Corbin in the play. I mean, I'm very happy with the work we have, you know, with Garrett's work. Garrett Dillahunt is a wonderful actor, a uh, very sensitive actor, a strong actor. And Rosalind Ruff, the one woman, when she's the glue that keeps them two big men you talk about together. You know, and then the, the men fall in suit. When you got a, a powerful woman like that, a powerful, beautiful woman on stage, and, she, and the men fall in, fall in line behind her. <laughs> so. I mean, I've always thought the play in some ways is about the possibility of impossible friendships, impossible connections. So when you take the possible and the impossible and you put them together, something interesting happens.